Hello. Salesman or something. Those suitcases could just contain the products he's selling. Very doubtful. I've been hearing a lot of strange noises coming from his apartment. He's pacing around at night, and I'm pretty sure he's doing other things in the building. At least he's only here for a few days. Maybe he's an addict, like that guy last year. Remember him? The state of his room after they kicked him out was just terrible. I don't know what he is, but I'm sure he's up to no good. You know, at one point, I'm pretty sure I saw him handling what looked like some sort of weapon in there. I told the landlord, but he doesn't care as long as the bills are paid. I can't wait for him to leave. Forty-seven. This is one of the Mumbai chores. My records show a few residential complaints about a new tenant in the building. Something related to strange behavior. It might be worth looking into. First or something. The judges can be pretty nasty. It's a live show, so there's no holding back. Don't understand.
X Factor India. And I don't care what anybody says. I tried to go up there to spy on his things, but he was already there. I'm wondering what he's up to. So he's just sitting up there in the tower. Maybe he's a photographer or something. The light is quite beautiful up there. Well, I suppose that might be it. He did have a large bag with him. But come to think of it, there was one of those, um, what do you call them? Uh, tripods, huh? You know, uh, for cameras and things like that. See, it's nothing. You always worry so much. Just a photographer taking pictures of the construction site or something. Maybe you work for him. That sounds reasonable. Okay, thanks. It appears we have a rival assassin in Mumbai, and he's training his sights on Darwood Rangan. By the looks of it, I'd say we're dealing with a local operator known as the Kashmirian. Karen Dahl, aka. The Kashmirian was born in the US, but fled to his mother's native land, India, 20 years ago following an FBI investigation into a string of serial killings in Texas. He adopted a new identity here and now works as a gun for hire for local mobsters. Never but who would want Rangan dead? Horrible viewfinder. A local hitman known as the Kashmirian is in Mumbai on business. He set up a sniper nest in a tower above a stairwell in the local chawl. 
It appears he's targeting the luxury apartment belonging to Darwood Rangan, but has encountered a problem. Perhaps you can assist him. Not allowed! I mean, how long can it take to smudge out a few blues and reds? I'm creating art here. 70% of the work is finding the right colors. Color mixing is an entire art form on its own. It takes time. Yeah, well, get a move on. Mr. Rongan wants you to go and get him as soon as you're done mixing your fancy colors there. You got it? Fine. If I don't finish it, Rungan will kill me. If I do, the artistic community will be dead to me.
Mr. Hussein, go on upstairs and wait for Mr. Rangan. I'm sure he'll be there shortly. It's me. Just to let you know that the house artist is ready to continue painting. Ah, Mr. Hussein, ready at last. Uh, did you get a shave? Oh, well, never mind. Come with me to the lounge. After you, Mr. Rangan. That is Darwood Rangan, producer of mediocre movies and a full-time criminal. His brutality is overshadowed only by his giant ego. This looks like a very recent picture of the Maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible. Seriously, that's enough, man! Hey, dude, I'm talking to you! Magnificent use of colors and form. Yup, but... Why are you wearing masks? Yeah, you think... Hussein, go on upstairs and wait for Mr. Rangan. I'm sure he'll be there shortly. It's me. Just to let you know that the house artist is ready to continue painting. Ah, Mr. Hussein, ready at last. Uh, did you get a shave? Oh, well, never mind. Come with me to the lounge. up and how are you today sir ah beautiful magnificent use of colors and form if the new piece catches my forceful nature like this i will have nothing short of a masterpiece on my hands i'll be the envy of everyone all right chala let's get this done with I expect these to be the final brush strokes, Mr. Hussein. I'm a busy man here. All right, 47. Let's see if the aim of our Kashmirian friend is true. Look, hmm. once the word gets out and my art appreciating friends see it, your phone will be ringing off the hook. I can't wait. Hold your breath for a moment, Mr. Rangan. That's the reason I told you I wouldn't pay for the commission, by the way. I'm not stingy. No, no, not at all. But if I'm already paying you in exposure, hmm? well, let's not overdo it, huh? you know? I prefer cash over exposure. Clench your fist, please. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> but sometimes, exposure can be worth more than just money. Because in this case, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Just wait and see. When you're done with this job, the contracts will be rolling in. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Rangan. Can you look up a bit? Thank you. That shot came from the Chawls. It looks like the Kashmirian finally got a clear line of fire. Darwood Rangan is dead, and not even by your hand, 47. What will you think of next? Hold up, 47. The Kashmirian is on the move. He's heading for another flat inside the Chawls. This might be worth investigating. If nothing else, we may get a lead on who his client is. The Kashmirian is moving to an apartment in the Chawl. It's facing the laundry area. I suggest we find out what he's up to, 47.
Next one up, please. How do they say in English? Uh, I'm fucking over it. Forty-seven. The street gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. I suggest you are mindful around them in the slums. Hello. Forty-seven. It appears the Kashmirian is using this room as a base of operations. Let's see what he's up to in here.
So, the Kashmirian is scoping out a bridge in an area primarily oh, used as a laundry business. Take a little walk Interesting. Over to that it recently changed ownership and I now promise. belongs to Vanya Shah. It, will it looks like he's found a new target quickly. and is waiting for her to get on the bridge. Perhaps your mentoring days aren't entirely over yet. The new foreman looks to be a dedicated worker. He hasn't left the office since he got here. Oh, no, no, that's not it. I was up there in the office when he came in. One of the guards told him that the slum queen wanted to talk to him. The guy turned all gray and started stammering. Wait, he didn't know she had taken over the business? I don't think so. The guard also told him what happened to the previous foreman. I'm pretty sure that's why he's not coming out. So he's waiting for nightfall so he can slip out? Probably. Sadly for him, we work day and night here. He's never here. Not alive, anyway. He kept logs. Shah will expect me to move my heart. Uh, how did I end up in a situation like this? Sounded odd. It came from over there, right? Can you go see? Please. Ah, I don't know I where they are. If I could just find them, it would make my life a lot easier. But the old woman he hid them somewhere. If I knew why, I wouldn't have to look for them, would I? I just want to make sure I understand everything. If I show up for the bridge meeting with Miss Shah and I'm not prepared, well, let's just say I don't want that to happen. All right. See you too late. Surely those loads must be somewhere. Think, think. I can't meet Shah without them.
right? So I need to understand a few things here. Nobody keeps track of time in any way. The old foreman didn't really care so much about time. It's all about getting things done. So how did he track that? I'm serious. I any of his old files. I, I don't really know where need a break. Can you go and ask one of the guards if we can have half an hour? How do you guys keep track of how many orders you got? Alright, I already did that. Foreman, you know. He said the foreman hadn't given yeah, permission. So then, uh, you know, I asked if I could talk to the foreman. Really and the guard said no. That and this is not a good day. Tell me about it. I see. Thank you. Oi, you stand back. I'll see what's going on. If you say so, sir. I need to gather a lot of information for my report to the shop. Tell me, why are there people guarding the entrance? If we open up the empty booth to the public, we can make so much more money. Actually, you would have to ask Miss Shah. Before she took over, people could come here, pay a few rupees, and use the place for their own laundry. Now they just use the river instead. So I guess that means we need to hire more people in here to fill up the booths. Miss Shah doesn't really want to spend more money here, I think. She comes here once in a while, yelling at us from the bridge, threatening us with pay cuts. Not that it matters much. But why is that? I mean, she is a scary person. It's just that most of us are here because we owe her money in the first place. She helps me by providing water and power to my house, and my brother and I work here in return. Huh. Interesting business strategy. still at the office. Look, I know I said that this job would change our lives, but I think I may have miscalculated. No, no, I'm all right, but my boss, well, it, it's the slum queen, Vanya Shah. I can't do that. We need the money. Maybe this is a good thing, you know? If I do well here, maybe we can get her to root more power over to the house. Maybe even enough to let Kiara use the computer for her studies. I know it's dangerous, but what am I gonna do? I can't run away now. I need to compile a report on what I wanna do to make this place better. And then we meet with her later on. I just wanted to call you to let you know that I'm gonna come home late. All right, Anya. I'll call you later, okay? Okay, so I know he kept logs. Shah will expect me to know them by heart. Uh, how did I end up in a situation like this?
endings are so hard to write. It just feels like it keeps going on and on and on. Take a break. You deserve the rest. About time. I thought I was going to work through the night without a break. Thank you. I need to sit down and relax. I think you need a break. Oh, thank you. I really need to rest up a little. Last one? Watani, yaar. He's still in the office. I know Miss Shah is supposed to meet with him on the bridge and talk about how to make you lazy workers do more. But so far, he hasn't come out. Who are you calling lazy? I work for... Hmm. Vanya Shah is eager to meet the new foreman of the Mumbai laundry business. However, the foreman has taken refuge in his office, unwilling to meet with her at this time. You might be able to use this to your advantage, 47. 15 hours every day. Aha, pata hai. Just relaying the words of Miss Shah. I think she's hoping this new guy will be liberal with his belt. If you know what I mean. <sighs> Great. I'm ready for my meeting with Miss Shah now. Miss Shah's been waiting for this all day. The foreman's ready to meet up with Miss Shah on the bridge. We're heading there now. Follow me to. Oi, hello there. Gande hai abhi bhi. You need to put in more effort. That's not even close to good enough. Just through here. Miss Shah will be along soon. Better get your shit together if you don't want to end up. So, that's the new guy, huh? How long is he going to last, you think? A week? Depends on what the Queen decides to do with him, I guess. He looks tough enough. Might last a week in the pits. Maybe even two. Maybe he's been working really hard on that report of his. Maybe she'll actually keep him on. I can't imagine that. He's been hiding inside that little office of his all day, afraid to come out. I don't think he has what it takes. The new foreman finally graces us with his presence. What do you have to report? Well done, 47. You've managed to lure Vanya Shaw out into the open. Anything could happen here. That I see is a Vanya Shaw, self-appointed queen of the Mumbai I've made slums. A observation. Tell me more. Well, the objective is find the root of the problem, work to get close to it, and then eradicate it. I like your thinking. How would you approach the task you see before you? My usual method is prepare intensely, study the problem, learn everything I can, analyze all approaches. The idea is to gently nudge people to do what I want. And then, once the objective is in my sights, perfect execution. Not afraid to spill some blood in the process. Not at all. In fact, 
I find that happens quite often. I like you, Fool. I think this could be the beginning of a very fruitful relationship. I aim to please, Miss Shah. You think I don't see you down there, little ants? Scurrying about at your own base? Taking unnecessary breaks? Drinking my water? Wasting my money? You have had it easy up until now. But your new foreman will bring some order to this rebellious behavior. The days of slacking are over. You hear me? What the hell? That is Vanya Shah taking care of 47. I told you are you planning on outsourcing all your work to the Kashmirian from now on? You wouldn't believe. The Kashmirian is on the move again. It's paid off to follow him so far. Maybe he will lead us to the maelstrom. 47, the Kashmirian is on the move again. He looks to be leaving his apartment, possibly the trawl itself. I suggest following him to see where this will end. Hey, what's up? You don't know me, but your boss will want to talk to me. By now, he should have found out about the unfortunate fates of Rangan and Shah. I am the one responsible. Mad. No, no, no. On the contrary, I consider it a successful job interview. Just tell me where to go. Ah, yes, of course. I'll be there in no time. Has anyone seen Bhavin Sagar? I have a job interview today and I desperately need him to shave me.
cannot believe Dawood Rangan donated that TV to the people of the slums. And to hear that serpent Fania Shah talking about how he does nothing for us. cricket match between the mongooses and the hippos will be remembered for all the wrong reasons. The home team has been hit by a mysterious bout of stomach flu. And while the game has not yet been called off, the mongooses are taking one heck of a beating at the hands of their arch rivals. All Obviously, right. this comes as this terrible news for Coach the Singh, crow's nest. who is already Do under or die, Karen. following Live a up to the legend. of bad results. Or die, Will he survive another humiliation? Stay tuned. You want to get through here? I'll need to frisk you first. Now, let's see if you've brought me something interesting today. Go on ahead. So, you're the one who called. The boss was intrigued. He'll see you. Better make it good. I'll do my very best. Come with me. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. Some bolts, man. Not that way. Over here. You've got some balls, man. Killing two of the city's most ruthless people is a job interview. <laughs> That's something else. Hey, come here. Good. It's this way. Hey! All right, it's just in here. Good luck. I'm not being touchy, but I need to pat you down if you want to proceed. I really hope that you're clean, my friend. I don't want any trouble today. 
You're good to go. Well done for waiting. Chal nikal jaldi. Time to face the dragon, 47. The mysterious stranger enters the lion's den. I guess you know who I am by now. The Maelstrom. Indeed. Two of my most trusted allies are dead. Childhood friends, lifelong companions. And now you're here. I always see my contracts through to the end. <laughs> Admirable. Really, it is. I'm assuming Vanya put out the initial contract that drew you here. She never did like Darwin. Perhaps a power play while our plans are in hiatus? But why kill her then? Unless... Unless Darwood made a counter offer. That would be the smart move. But then you heard the rumors about the return of the Maelstrom. And so you took a chance. You figured if Darwood was assassinated, I would put two and two together. Eventually, I would have to teach the Slum Queen a lesson. You took it upon yourself to help me before I asked. A show of skill. A move to get to the top. Is that right, boy? You can only kill so many monsters before wanting bigger challenges. Darwood and Vanya lost their way once they returned here to Mumbai. I blame myself for their failures. I should not have let them go back with me. The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. Asking me this question, what's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me, okay? I just want to make sure I don't mess up when the boss asks me.
According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. It looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs are almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact, you and I. Do this. We both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them all down.